Your pattern after a brief absence. Summer made a return. What do you think <laughs> about did. that? Huh? I don't mind. I'm don't a summer mind guy. Yeah, I like too. fall as well, but when fall actually arrives, which isn't until Friday. Yeah, but the next season is winter. <laughs> well, let's bury that for a little All while. All right, we'll forget back. about that. For We're talking about Irma. There's actually three storms in the Atlantic right now. There's Jose, which has been tracking for the last several Thank days. Goodness. There's also Lee and Maria. We're going to have a complete update on all of those coming up on News 4 at 6 o'clock. But for right now, let's talk about our weather. We have one lonely little shower out there in southwestern Wayne County. It's trying to pop up a couple little sprinkles there in Lawrence County and Giles County as well. So a little broken line of, yeah, we'll call it showers just to be generous. But very little of this activity is going to have much of an impact on your evening plans. Certainly no lightning and thunder. And things are looking awfully good over downtown Nashville if you don't mind the warmth and if you don't mind a noticeable level of humidity. We haven't returned to mid-July, but it does feel just a little bit sticky out there. And temperatures are certainly warm. We're at 87 degrees right now in Nashville. We hit a high temperature of 88 this afternoon. 86 Smyrna, still 88 degrees right now in Lebanon, only 82 degrees in Murfreesboro. Temperatures widespread in the low to mid 80s with some spots in the upper 80s, including 89 degrees in Lafayette and 88 degrees in Camden. But it's not just the warmth or even the heat. It's September. We can call this hot. It's also the humidity. Dew points are running in the low to mid 60s for the most part, but some places threatening 70 for that current dew point. And that's not where we want to be on the muggy meter. We got spoiled a little bit the first couple weeks of September with dew points running in the neighborhood of 60, even down into the 50s and 40s. But now we're back up into uh, territory, but at least run up towards the top of the scale. Things are looking good for the Commodores game this evening, taking on the Kansas State Wildcats. Game time is just a little over an hour from now, so you're about to head out the door. It's going to be warm. It's going to be muggy. We're currently at 87. By kickoff, it'll be down to 82 degrees, and temperatures will continue dropping the rest of the evening. Let's put that in motion for you area wide. So if you don't live in Nashville, you can see your temperature forecast as well. Down to the mid 70s by 10 o'clock, which is about when the Vanderbilt game should be wrapping up, unless they go into you know multiple overtimes, which I'm sure Chris and Joe are rooting for. Temperatures are going to drop down into the 60s as we head into early tomorrow morning. Probably some patchy dense fog developing across the mid state once again, but that'll burn off quickly and will warm up quickly. Low to mid 80s by noon. High temperatures in the mid to upper 80s, expecting again a high temperature of 88 degrees in Nashville. If you're looking for some rain, you're going to have to look for it elsewhere for the next couple of days. There's a real slight chance of a pop up shower tomorrow, mainly in southwestern middle Tennessee. If you look on the right hand side of your screen, if you're watching us in the widescreen version, that's Hurricane Jose moving up the east coast. Again, we're going to have an update on that coming up on News 4 at 6. Around here, Monday, again, real slight chance of a shower. I wouldn't worry about it if you have any outdoor plans. Then Tuesday, our rain chances start to ramp up just a little bit. There's still going to be more miss than hit, but it marks the beginning of a more unsettled weather pattern that isn't really going to do anything about our temperatures over the next several days. We're going to be in the mid to upper 80s all the way into the first couple days of fall. If you're curious, fall begins at 302 Friday afternoon when it's going to be about 88 degrees. So we will not feel very autumnal out there. Best chance of storms throughout the upcoming week arrives right at the middle of the week on Wednesday. We'll keep you updated on that, but things are looking good for some football on the West End. Chris. They indeed are.